This is Single Quantum EOS, our superconducting nanowire single photon detection system. With this video, we want to show you how to operate the instrument. Single Quantum EOS includes high-performance superconducting single photon detectors in a closed cycle cryostat, a helium compressor, an electronic driver, and an intuitive user interface. Our engineer will come to your lab to install the instrument. Let's start. Switch on the driver and the compressor. The detectors are cooled down to cryogenic temperature. After three hours, the cool down is completed. The cryostat can be maintained at its base temperature for up to 10,000 hours of continuous operation. Now the system is ready for measurement. Each detector is coupled to an optical fiber. You can send your optical signal to the detector by simply connecting an optical fiber to the front plate. Be careful. Connect only clean optical fibers to the single quantum EOS. This is crucial to guarantee high detection efficiency. Single photons are counted with extremely high sensitivity using a transition from superconducting to resistive state in the detectors. The software provides you the count rate of each detection channel. Using a network connection, you can control the instrument and read out the counts remotely. You can adjust the bias current applied to the detection channels. This allows you to tune the rate of dark counts to a negligible level. When too much light is accidentally reaching a detector, it will not be damaged, but it will latch to the resistive state. The driver will automatically reset the detectors and resume operation. This is the electrical output of a detector. You can send this electrical signal to any time correlation instrument required in your experiment using a coaxial cable. Be careful. Always check the output pulse with an oscilloscope before connecting it to other devices. That's how you set up single quantum EOS. For more information, please visit our website.